तो वेलकम टू बिट फ्यूम्स एंड इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ द लैरबल डेटा टेबल एंड इन द लास्ट एपिसोड वी हैव सीन द प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू नॉर्मल टेबल एंड यूजिंग सिंपल डेटा टेबल सो नाउ व्हाट वी नीड टू डू वी नीड टू इंस्टॉल इट सिंपल सो वी नीड टू इंस्टॉल इट आई टू वेज इफ यू जस्ट वॉन्ट द डेटा टेबल you can use this or if you want other things like buttons html or related things we will see these things later you you can load all of these things so why not get everything for now and i'm going to paste it composer require yajra laravel data table and while it's installing we need to do anything no because we are on 5.7 level 5.7 auto discovery is always there so yeah it's done so then after we need to publish the tag with the data table so let's open this and we will see how these things are going to work so let's wait till this yajra box is going to install so now our yajra box level data table is installed successfully and what i'm going to do now i'm going to publish the things related to data table so these things are published in our config and yeah data tables this one so here we can customize everything related to our data table so we can give the searching of smart searching then multi term searching case sensitive searching and all these things important point is index column if you want to change the index column for your data table you can change it but by default it is this one so these things are good but we want to start with our data table that means the yatra data table so how we can get started we have installed it properly so now what i'm going to do i'm going to just go inside the tutorial and quick starter so let's go to quick starter and it is for 5.1 but not a problem because almost things are same so we have installed the yajra box level table uh, level data table and we have published the things and already i have because to show you how normal table normal data table works i have done the css for data table jquery and the js for data table i have done all these things so next is we need to create uh, a route which is going to get the data from ajax system so if i go here go to web.php on the vs code and let's create a route a simple get route for uh, let's say users it will be so users and it will come on home controller i'm not going to create any the other controller so get users and let's name it so name it get dot users simple enough and now this is done so if i now go and we need to create that get users function on our home controller so on home controller i'm going to create a function like this and this one is going to return for now everything here we have so this one is for now just for now but actually what we need to return we need to return data table of user query and then make true uh, we are not getting what this is but let's take it so we are going to return data table data table and this one and then we need to say off then what we need to do use the user model or whatever model you want to search for user then query what is the query then just make and inside this just going to give the true so i think all these things are done for here so these things are okay then what we need to do because we are going to use the yatra box level data table so we don't want any body here so you can see just the heading is there head is there so we just need to remove everything on the body that's good then as we know we can initialize the data table by using this thing but just because we are using the yatra level data table we need to do server side true processing true all these things so let's paste it here so inside this 
these two are done then the ajax call ajax call is for route of route name is dead get dot users this is the one we have to create then we have to specify which columns we are going to use from the data we are getting so we are getting id name email and created it updated at everything okay so let's copy these to everything actually because i have not used that way so here we go on uh, this part and paste it so let's make it indented okay so this is done and what next is the thing uh, route we have already done so i think we, everything is okay so let's go here refresh this page and we have some error so what's the error we need to open the console and 500 error this means we have problem on our hx part so it says yachra box data table off is not there okay so i think this is okay so it says data table so actually this is data tables and yachra box so i have used data table only not tables yeah that's why it's giving problem so tables and yeah it is done yeah okay so refresh once more and this time you can see super easy things and by default 10 is there you can make it anything you want and let's use again 10 and it is super easy to have all these things why not make it so a little larger so uh, instead of 8 i will say 12 call yeah looking nice so this is exactly it which is given here and yeah you can see and remember one thing that we are loading 11000 results and 11000 results very quickly and let's open the uh, source for this page and yeah you can see nothing is there because all things are coming from our ajax so if i open the network tab and refresh this page you can see it is having some query and query is having all these things and actually on the query you can see it is using this time this kind of thing select count aggregate from uh, all these things i am not going to read everything so what you can do with this so you can say aaron yeah it is uh, searching and you know the search is real time yeah you can see it's just having the processing field that means whenever we do any search it do it just call a uh, ajax so yeah you can see as i delete as i press any key it just call the ajax okay so this is the way we can have the yachra box laravel data table in our laravel project super easy things you just need to do some installation then already we have to use the data table js css then the most important or the unique thing related to yachra data table is this one so i think you get the idea how you can get started with yajra box laravel data table and in the next episode we will see more of the things so we will meet in the next episode if you have liked this episode please go and share with your friends and if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel what you are waiting for i'm saying this in every tutorial what you are waiting for just subscribe to this channel for more laravel related updates and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye